Lee doesn't have a citizenship. However, good to see you. Today, my name is Elis Lucan and we're going to be doing a synthwave conversation here, live with you. Indeed so. And we're going to be doing warm synthwave music. Whatever that will mean. I listened to uh, a suggestion from the last week and it sa uh, someone said uh, that we should do a synthwave composition. And I was like, why not? I haven't done a uh, synthwave music in a while and I think it might be actually interesting to look at. And I listened to some of the synthwave music, usually it's like very uh, forward going, a lot of beats, and I think today we could actually try, try at least, to make something that is more warm. So that is our mission today, hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, before we start however, I need to be going through a few settings over here. But how are you doing today? Uh, let me know, the comment section is open. I always love discussions with people, because you know that discussions always uh, they sort of uh, kind of pace the whole composing section and the session going forward so discussions are always welcome uh, what I'm going to be discussing today is very much of course the composition itself yeah but other things as well like what has been happening and I have to thank uh, people that have been recently coming to streams it's humbling because, you know, the thing is, I, I wanted to now do daily content on streaming, which I really want to do now. And I think I've been succeeding, uh, and it has been helping me going forward, so I thank you uh, being part of that. Now, composing streaming, composing stream, synth wave music. Composing synth way music. A Lucan live stream. Composing synth wave music live. You have to always put these keywords in. Sometimes they work, sometimes they won't. Uh, won't. It's like, you know, a kind of a practice shooting. You sometimes hit the goals or sometimes not. But now, let us see... I've music. I think this is the last word we're going to be putting here. And uh, still, we need some things over. But, you know, Synthwave is something I haven't done, to be honest, too much. And it's interesting to look at when we really start making it. Content hasn't aired here. Entertainment, I suppose, and... Uh, uh, here we go, let's save that one here. I think the thumbnail is actually pretty lovely, this one. I've, uh, I really like it, and I want to do some warm synth waves today. Whatever that is going to mean. Let's go to the video itself, though. Can we actually find it? I think we can. And then we are able to start the work proper. And then we are able to start the work proper. Yeah, all right. Let me just uh, still share it in few places, and then we are, I think, ready to start. So, a good morning from Finland. Finland is today doing all right. All right ways. The thing is, uh, some nasty things happened. I don't want to really talk about it too much, but it just kind of got my morale. Uh, not, not 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 like full morale, but it's kind of had an effect. Uh, you might actually see it in this, this today's stream, but yeah, that has been going on my mind. Some some nasty things here, and it's uh, connected to this whole lockdown situation. Yeah, I don't really. The lockdown actually in Finland, if if you want to know, in Finland it has actually opened, which is kind of surprising, but I think it's because of the police uh, resources that are strained. I think that is the reason. It's a lot of resources that are just uh, 
being spent for very few reasons. And we don't have enough resources, I think. Well, of course, they don't say that, but I think because... Uh, because the police force has been, like, the government has been kind of cutting off from the police force, I think that is the reason, at least. On my mind. At least on my mind. So yeah, P Friday's always a day for making compositions here, original compositions. I'm a man of original compositions, of course. Of course, I'm doing other projects as well. Together, making music with uh, with you guys uh, that is not original. Uh, like the movie song that we just heard in the background. But I think there's always a need for making some music that is some original stuff. Especially uh, as this was a suggestion. Let's put here still some soup. Can you actually see it? I want to just show what I'm doing rather than just telling. Send the wave. Live stream. Composer. And let's put the picture in still. Picture tells more than a thousand words. That's the old saying. And I. I have to tell you that in uh, social media land, pictures do win the battles, so that's why we're using them. Here we go, and let's do the same here. I actually was part of a uh, sort of a uh, election, very small one. There's this sort of a like shopping center, um, kind of like a company that is owned by the people that purchase in the so shopping center. Things soon, but yeah, like that. That is how the thing works over here, and I, th I like it. I, you know, the people themselves can affect the shopping center and what's happening on it, which I do believe is quite phenomenal, to be honest. And I was going there uh, as a, you know, this uh, election uh, every few years, and uh, I got 63 votes, which was surprising for me. I did nothing in campaign work. It might be because I'm the youngest people in there, who knows, people perhaps would it be because of that. So I need to, I really need to start working on next time if I go there. I, I should have needed around like 200 for votes if I would have wanted to get in. So 60 votes is not bad for doing absolutely zero. So yeah, that's that. But now let's begin the work. Let's actually start creating some stuff. If you want to comment chat here, let me just test that. Comment chat. And then on the screen you will get that very, very good. So let's put that off. Let's put that off and put the composing window in and start creating the music as we do. So synth wave is the feel. I apo my, apo my apologies if I'm not able to do it, you know, in the purest sense. Yeah, because I have not done synth wave in such a long time. But in instead of actually starting with melodies, actually we could actually start with the harmonies today. Yeah, and of course MIDI instruments. That is the name of the deal. Very simple today. So I hope it's not going to be actually taking that long time and we could use here uh, some pads some warm pads and then see where the whole feel goes yeah so some warm pads very simple instruments and see kind of where the harmony thing goes let's put the tempo sort of low sort of low yeah 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 and start from 70. I think 70 would work. And we could go with the synth wave in in a in a just not do nothing with the with the key signatures. I would, I would actually like that. Usually we change the key signatures or something. Today we could just uh, leave it at blank. Uh, no, something different every time. Every time. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
Now, something like this. Do, 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 do. And then... Do. Something like this. And then it repeats. Do, 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 do. Something like this. And this is going to be the harmony pattern, hopefully. We shall see. We shall see about that. And usually, you know, synth waves they have these sort of effects and such. I'm going to be having a very small melody instrument with this whole thing. And I'm going to be using this melody that we just made. Actually, this is a melody, yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, put some uh, just uh, feel to it, I suppose, like a square sort of uh, synth. And it's just going to be temporary, I suppose. So it's like... Do, 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 do. And I, I'm going to be changing this, I tell you. So this is going to be the beginning, sort of like... Uh, but that, it has to be actually warm, so I'm, I might, might actually change it. So it's like... Something like that, where we have a beginning sort of uh, thing going on here, and I think think you should be able to hear the audio as well from this. Let me know if you cannot properly do that. So, let's copy this melody just for, you know, just somewhere here and start with actually going to the instruments because synthwave, as I've understood it, the sounds are very important in that business. So we're going to be going to the sounds immediately. Texture, playable texture, whoa, 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 something over here, something that is very electronical, yeah, that's what we're going. That's not warm, I like that though, but it's not warm. Hey, Jelly Duck! Hey there, just dropping my new track on SoundCloud. Hey, that's lovely. Uh, post it to Eloka's group, I will take a lesson on it. And uh, put a comment as well. That's what I do when I listen to songs. Uh, please do that, if you want to. And uh, what song is that about? We're doing some synthwave music over here, as you can hear. <laughs> Something like that, and uh, I don't I have not done too much of synthwave, so I have no idea how this is going to <laughs> go out in the end. But we shall see. We shall see about that. One hundred. I did a thing about synthwave. Yeah, what sort of? Let me know. What sort of? We're trying to do some warm synthwave. I don't know. Did you do that? Perhaps. I think we could use this. This is some sort of. We could make it warm, warmer, and then pulse. Let's change the pulse rhythm. Jelly Duck 100. Do it like two, two. Using Garage Band. Bad. Yeah, Crunch Band is actually, you know, pretty simple program, but you can actually make good stuff with it, I believe, personally. I've, you know, many years ago I tried it, and it's actually pretty simple to use, so I have nothing against people using that. Some people might be just overlooking it, I believe. But, uh, yeah, Crunch Band, you can make some compositions with that. 
So yeah, interested to see what sort of track that is. How are you doing today? What is your day other than, of course, they are releasing the uh, track in the SoundCloud place? Also, like, I would like to ask you, like, what's your plan overall when releasing the music? Is it just like a, a kind of a hobby project or do you have any bigger sort of endeavors on your mind, perhaps getting your music to project and such on that. I want to do a series of that, hopefully something that I can help others, uh, you know, that make music. I know that in my channel there's a lot of people that do music creation, so I would like to help in that. In not, of course, in creating the music, but uh, but helping you to get it more out there. I've, I think I have some Jude ideas. 100. I'm gonna release a new video soon. Alright, nice, nice. Good that you have a plan, my friend, on that. Is it uh, that same video uh, or on the same kind of uh, synthwave music? Let me know. Uh, let's find some very warm arpeggio. Some Something that is uh, very string oriented. Beautiful. No, actually, it has, needs it needs to be something Jilly that has the harmony feel to it. Same that I did. All right, good, good that uh, you know you release in both places. Dual destinies. I'm using this sort of. Stuff. <laughs> That is something kind of a battle track. Do, 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 do. Actually, put this from here. Yeah. This actually looks nice, but it, it changes too much. No, and this as well. This doesn't do what I want. Uh, the dual destinies that we just had here. Uh, where is this? Where I can find it? Here with this one. I actually want to save that. That would be a very lovely thing Jilly to Duck 100. use in all the compositions. You have to use Savetti's synth bass. Ah, very, very true. Dual destinies. I have some of those here. Where we can, where we can actually search with the seventies. Wispy track. whiskers. Greetings, my brethren. Greetings. Jelly Duck 100. Oh, oh. Good to see no. you. Do you actually have a mustache? That is actually a very cool thing to have. I don't know how do you actually grow that. Well, hey, welcome. And Jelly Duck says, lol. Laughing out loud. Let's try to find 70s. Just by doing a sound 70. But yeah, 70s has this sort of interesting feel on it when it comes to music ma uh, music creation. We have we want to make today uh, a Wispy Whiskers a warm composition, a warm synth wave. I don't know, is that even possible? But I think, of course, uh, if we do hard work, we can do it. Let me know how your day is going. Jelly Duck uh, himself said that he has uh, released a whiskers. new song. Moustache, Eggbeard, the whole shebang. The whole shebang, oh, that's cool. That is very lovely. I myself, I have no idea should I actually take a beard. Uh, my father do does have a very long one, and it gives him this sort of like, uh, you know, professor feeling. When, when you have this sort of like woo, long beard, you have this sort of like uh, authority for it. But I have no idea yet should I do it, should I have a beard. Beards can look good, but they need a lot of work to make that so, I believe. Mm. So let's actually start without just putting the sounds in. Let's back actually start with some of the atmospheres over here. We shall see how I'm able to do them good. So we have here... Let's see how does this sound in action. Yeah, the synth wave actually it kind of is uh, quicker. It does this sort of quicker movement, so we have to make this track a bit quicker. And uh, 
then we have to... Let's put this as a basis. I think it could work. And then we have the sort of the idea of harmony. And this is very aggressive instrument. I don't know. Am I going to use the uh, the one that we have over here? Up here? We shall see. I don't know. Who, who was the one that actually recommended making synthwave music? It might be one of you, if I remember right. It was a one week ago. Hmm. But I think we could uh, do something lovely with this. But we shall see. Mm, we could use this as an F, F effect instead of nothing else. At least right now, that that could be it. But we shall see. And then. Wispy whiskers. You should have seen my dad's. He used to have a full walrus. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, that is actually pretty cool. That's like a seamanship, uh, so sort of like a uh, person that is on the sea. Is this sort of like a, yeah, yeah, that is very cool. Oh man, oh man, that's very, uh, that's very lovely actually. I bears are actually, you know, they they give this sort of authority. I, I believe this at least. So I, I think that they they actually, but they of course take a lot of time. Chili Duck One Hundred. You can use delay with synth bass. Yeah, but delay actually actually works, I think. Bit of a delay always does a thing. Uh, I have no idea where we should actually go yet. We have some instruments. Uh, let's play with them and do some stuff. Uh, and let me know if there's actually something interesting going on. I think nothing yet as of right now. And then we could actually start with... And then we of course need the warm instruments over here, but this is not yet ready, I tell you, I tell you. Still needs quite a lot of stuff in order to do good. Let's listen to what we have. It might be just a, a mix of bad things, but we have to we have to listen. We could actually use this as sort of like an end thing. Yeah, this is like an effect we could use it. Like, and I think there's some bases over here with this, like. And then we could have something like. Uh, uh, let's see, some, some kind of effect on it. Jillyduck 100. Anyways. Melodic, arpeggio and pads. That is the way to go forward, I think. We could do that. Let me know if you have any ideas. And let me actually know how your day is going, Wispy Whiskers, other than a moustache and twirling it like, like a evil uh, cartoon villain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't know. Does that actually does do does that sort of villains actually exist in real world? Where that actually has come from, I don't know. This sort of like <laughs> sort of villains. Yeah, there are of course a lot of uh, real villains out there, real bad people. But, of course, it's not as simple as, hey, that guy with evil mustache, he must be evil. Uh, if that would be the case, there would be no evilness around here at all. Usually, the greatest evil hides within normal-looking people. That is the saddest thing. So some pads could be making it. Yeah, we could actually have that. Wispy Whiskers. It's a Saturday cartoon cliche. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it kind of is. Yeah. 
Saturday cartoon evil villain. It's kind of a very clear evil villain, like Disney villains. Like, they are such a... Directly, everyone can understand, hey, Jafar from Aladdin is evil. So, so it kind of is that, like that, yeah. Kind of like that. Let's try. I cannot hear any sound from this. I might just... Uh, I don't know actually what I am, but yeah, like the sad, like those sort of villains. I, I kind of sometimes like in 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 the kind of a, you know if there's a, like a very clear villain sort of like it, it's actually fun to watch. Like some of the early Disney villains, they were actually very lovely to watch. Uh, you know, of course, as a cartoon creatures. Usually nowadays, the villains are these sort of surprise villains in those uh, sort of children things, and uh, not really charismatic villains. I should say, yeah, not really. And I suppose that's actually Whiskey a good whiskers. thing because normal villains are not. Might as well had named Jafar blatantly evil chancellor. <laughs> but is it, that, that is actually a cliche uh, in in those of Ar Arabic things like the the Sultan is usually the good guy and the vizier, yes, the evil vizier usually tries to overthrow the good and humble Sultan who does not know what is happening behind the curtains. Usually that is what happens. And man, that is such a cliche thing. That's actually a thing in like in uh, one night, uh, one and thousand nights. Uh, I don't know, is it like that? Yeah, those sort of like old fairy tales of Arabic world as well. Evil vizier. Let's see. So idea is that this is uh, to direct yet. We could actually try to go with something more uh, major instead of like this. We could actually go. We could go put this down. Like this. Actually, let's listen how does this sound. But yeah, we are still in the very beginning of early moments of this. We have done some composition around 15 minutes right now. Of course, uh, 20 minutes minus uh, the beginning hassle. But yeah, yeah, very much. We are starting to do some stuff over here. Hopefully you enjoy. And uh, yeah, if you let me know if you have any uh, favorite evil villains of uh, some of the, these cartoons and such. I... Personally, like the Disney villains are actually the early ones are actually pretty lovely to watch. They always kind of steal the scene. Nowadays, they don't want to do that. Uh, they usually have these surprise uh, people, which are not that interesting, of course. But the villains are like that sometimes. Yeah. Sort of like this. We could actually go with sort of like. Actually, I want to return back to the old feel, which was like this. Sort of like this. Let's see. So the picture. Actually, let me let me bring the picture that we are using for today's composition, so you can understand what kind of feeling I wish to have with the music so this is the picture as you can see this is the picture let me put uh this as a kind of a smaller picture in here let's do it it's it's just uh I don't really know why what sort of like uh, music we could do with this, but I think you know we, we are we are coming closer to something that is listenable I believe. And like this. And let's bring this down. Yeah, I'm just doing some things so I can see better. Hmm. And let's put uh, 600, no, 700. 740. No, 700. Yeah, this is the one. 
And from bottom, 400. Wispy whiskers. 300. You could try a pause between cycles as a warm up, then remove the pause as the song progresses. That is actually a very true thing. Let me try to make that a reality. But now we have the picture over here so people can see what we are doing. So you could try pause between cycles as a warm up, then remove the pause as the song progresses. So do you mean the pause in a sense that uh, we could have it like like this sort of way that we have like a pause? Let's let's try that. Let's try that. Let us see what we can do. Sort of like, or do you mean like bigger pause, or like that was actually a kind of an interesting pause in a sense? Like it was, uh, it was, uh, it was somewhat like a kind of a that it, it made it pacing, I think, a bit better. Who knows? Who knows? was referring to the melodic part but that was interesting yeah that was actually kind of interesting yeah sometimes you know people give me good suggestions but i just don't get how uh, you had the similar uh, had the idea or to really perform but uh, i think whiskers. this came something interesting longer pause let's try something longer do, do. Let's try something longer. Let's try something longer. It could be interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, this is actually building something. That, I, I like this sort of like the... Do, 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 do. I think it kind of gives it sort of like a, a structure for it. Let's see. Let us see how it goes. Wispy whiskers. I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah. A cycle yeah. long pause or half. A cycle long pause. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I don't want to make it too long pause. In a sense, I think this is actually a pause that uh, could be the longest one. I'm not just sure how the effect would be if this would be too long of a pause. We could actually use that as a power sort of uh, fashion in the later on the song. And they make it they make the stop like a very almost a full. But I think uh, in the beginning it has to have some energy to it somewhat. But I like the sort of like idea you got here. Wispy whiskers. And, we can make and this. don't cut everything with it. Alternate it. Of course, of course, of course. Let's uh, let, let me let me try something out. Uh, let me know then afterwards. Uh, did I do did I do something at least on your mind that uh, could potentially work? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And let's put this one also like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. And. And let's put the six down. Here we go. And let's put one of these notes off. Let's see how does this sound right now. I 
kind of, I kind of like this sort of like. Uh, so, so every time you know you said alternate, so I have an idea that you know it always alters in the pad section a little bit, and then in this part we're going to be doing it a very powerful sort of uh, rising up sort of fashion. <laughs> And then, doon, 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 doon. We need like. Something like this. And then there's nothing else in here. And then it goes back to the sort of the energy of it. Yeah, yeah, we, I, I don't know. Uh, is this going to become the warm composition? But at least there's something in there. Hopefully, it's something that you enjoy. I was thinking actually with the streaming, we have been doing streaming every day, which I've been personally very happy about. Hopefully it has been interesting for you as well. Uh, for the composing streamings, I also wanted to start doing something uh, that is, like I know there's many different composers over here watching this channel. Uh, hopefully this you know composing streaming sort of helps in that fashion that uh, uh, you can see, you know, at least how I do the music. But I was thinking of something that I could actually do more help for the music of others, in a sense that I could uh, uh, show some of the ways that uh, these things could, uh, uh, you know, I don't, you know, kind of uh, spread it around the music of others. Like I know as like Jeff, uh, who was the one? Yeah, Jelly Duck had some, and Wispy Whiskers. You know, there's many different people over here, so uh, that have might have interest on the music side. Or, so perhaps, perhaps on that, perhaps I, sh perhaps there should be something like that. But I always want to keep this sort of like uh, enjoyable for myself, in a sense, uh, and hopefully enjoyable to you as well. That is the goal. So I don't know where this composition is going yet, but we have around 20, uh, 30 seconds of music uh, made. Around 30 seconds. So let's hear it. Then it could continue from there, but now, um, doo -doo, and I need to make it like this. And let's put some additional instruments over there. Let's put there uh, something from here down, and I need another pad instrument to make that happen. Perhaps an effect as well in the uh, down there, but I think we're going to be using a pad and something that is very bright, lush. Like that, and then an effect, I think. Let's see. Let's see something about that. There's some other, uh, there's actually something from the 70s, some, uh, something over here. Something Tron esque. I kind of like this. This might be interesting to use, who knows. Ha, ah, there's, there's some lovely instruments over here, but I think we could use this sort of 70, 70s feel uh, stuff. Uh, let's try, let's see, try, can we try something? I like that cello feel, like this uh, synth cello. We could use it, we could use it in our advantage. And once this opens, what is this sound? Let's make it very deep. So there's some 
contrast. I, I personally think like contrast is a very good effective way or when, when there's a composition made. Then you know when you have something up and down, it kind of and especially when they like move like do 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 like there's this sort of like uh, interconnection mirroring each other. I like it. I very much like it. Wispy Whiskers, a helix. And you mentioned a helix. And which does that refer to exactly? The instrument I mentioned or something else? Uh, yeah, that's sort of like, a, uh, do you mean this sort of movement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my composer teacher back in the day. I have only I had many composer teachers. Most of the things I've learned myself, but there was this one good composer teacher I had, and he suggested many good things that I still actively think. There were others which who I personally did not really find the information that they gave uh, that interesting, to be honest. Wispy whiskers. Your description of the movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Helix. I don't know all the English words on those, so yeah, kind of a new one for me. But yeah, helix. If that's the one that uh, uh, really looks at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's actually like the like. So this is the, the, the instead of I, I think I'm going to be using this one, this lush feeling, and then I'm going to be using like this sort of feel to it. Wispy whiskers. And I'm going to be putting these, you know, from like a wind. strand of DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strand of DNA. Yeah, 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 like this sort of... Go... Ah... Okay, 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 I kind of... Okay, I understand that, sort of like a... Uh, yeah, I don't... I haven't used that word before, because of course my first language is Finnish. So, yeah, interested to learn something from that. Helix, alright, alright. That is a word I've heard before, but not the kind of the, the movement of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very interesting, fascinating. By the way, uh, Wispy Whiskers, how is your day going so far? You have any plans on things to do, music or anything otherwise? Let me actually save this song as we currently are. We have around some music, but not the best yet. Let's say Warm Synth. And we go to Scores. Let us save it there. Good. And it's saving and I should it should be ready now. Good. Let's listen again. It's not yet the warmest of it. The yeah, DNA, the structure of it, very interesting. I, I really whiskers. like how this world has I been designed. I prefer to keep my activities for today a secret. Oh, <gasps> secret! All right, no worries. They, it's always good that there's some secrets around. Otherwise, the world would be just a, a damn place. Everything would be known. And then we 
have the boom 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 and like that I, I don't really like this part yet but we're going to be making it better also I want to have the softness to it uh, I want to have another instrument and it's going to be the soft soft one and I want it to play all the time while there's these uh, gaps. It's a very, very small instrument, but it's a, it's a soft one. So that's what we're going to be using. And I want it to bring the softness here because this is this is not yet soft. I want the next part to be, to be the with the warm, this sort of warming feel. This is a, sort of like the beginnings for it, like putting a, a fireplace on fire sort of fashion. It just... Uh, uh, not yet the warmth has not yet came from it sort of fashion that is the idea at least uh, clearly opening the instrument to be shown it's uh, saying not responding at least not responding but yeah like DNA it's such an interesting form of information like how it is put together DNA mmm I just love about the secrets on this world and beauties of it and the fact that humans can actually look at the secrets you know the science and understand it comprehend it more and more which I do like let's see a uh, somber scary peaceful powerful or nightmarish mystical more serious meditative that is what I want to have Yeah, this is the sound we're going to be using here in the background. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Let's see. We could actually go with the slower tempo at some point, but who knows. At least right now, no. Like this. Let's begin from small. Wispy whiskers. And have this sort Soft. Of or supple. Supple. Tristo Anderson. Tristan! Get to What's say What's up, you? Elias and Chato? Yeah. Hey, say hello to Tristan. How are you doing? Working on some music today. We are working on ourselves. Some warm synth wave, as we were suggested last week. How are you doing? How was your Friday? Yeah, it's actually Friday. I don't know how does that mean to people. Like, of course, Friday used to be the best day of the week for Chilled some. Chilled up 100. I don't know, is it yet? Hey there, at Tristo Anderson. Hey there, Tristan. Yes, indeed. You could have... Chilled up 100. Or, or retro, retro wave. wave. Yeah, retro wave could be something close to it. Who knows? We shall find out. Hopefully, something that you enjoy looking at as well. Tristo Currently, Anderson. we are doing some. Work. Hey, at Jelly Duck 100, yeah. Yeah, Jelly Duck was one of the first that came here. But good always to see some you know, familiar faces that uh, have Tristo been part Anderson. of the streams in the past. I'm doing good been doing some writing myself. Writing, all right. Is this, it's something that is still a secret, like uh, Wispy Whisker has mentioned, he has some secret activities. Uh, perhaps there is, who knows. Let, 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 feel free to share if you ha want to. Of course, I do not want to force that on people. People want to tell something, they can. I personally, my plan today is very open, uh, because it's Friday, I want to keep it sort of like a relaxing day. But I want to make my game today, work on that. If you saw my game creation stream a few days ago, basically it's something close to that. Just grinding, grinding on that. And unfortunately it's like that, it's kind of a grinding thing, especially when you make a big project. Many of you know when you do yourself big projects, school projects, own projects, uh, it always takes some time. But in order to make something great, it always have to take effort always Tristo Anderson always no lol I have been working on a piece for my nephew oh, can't please. finish until he can come back oh, of course of course 
You can't do a piece with nephew without a nephew. That's very good. That's very good. What sort of piece is that? Is it a very uh, marching melody or is it very uh, sort of like a warm as we have here? Who knows? Let me know. So actually, this might be changing the feel of the song. Uh, for some reason, I, I really like the things thing I'm currently making here. I don't know why. I, I just kind of like it. So, is it going to be warm? Who knows? <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Christo Anderson. He wants to sing, so he is having me write for him so he can sing too. Ah, so it's a singing project. Very good. Very lovely. Singing projects really can, you know, they can actually be interesting. There can be some lovely uh, singing project. I, a few days ago, I met this Indian person, actually on Facebook, that... Uh, does anime music, like sings or like anime covers, and I was very surprised. He's actually a very good singer. I hope to collaborate with him at some point. I sent him a message even. So yeah, working with singing is actually pretty fun, but always needs to... I, I want to compensate on people that I work with, especially he said he's very busy person, so of course I need to compensate. He asked for $100 for work. I'm saying perhaps I'm going to go a little bit lower on that because it's not going to be a commercialized thing that I'm doing, so perhaps something like uh, $60 or something, hopefully he agrees on that. $100, you know, for, for small sort of piece is a bit too high, at least right now for me, but we shall see, we shall see. Especially, like, I'm currently working on many, like, it's not a paid project, if it would be for Final Fallacy, then I would pay the $100, but it's not a paid project, at least right now, so we shall see, we shall see about that. <laughs> Actually, 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 this is not good. I want it to be warm, and I'm, I'm always doing against it. What I'm doing? Tristo Anderson. I'm doing against what I promised. Aim music is actually really good. Intros to aims, and in general, the melodies in the aims as well. Whiskey Anime. whiskers. How about trefidy? What is trefidy? Let me actually Google that. Trefidy. Sort of tree feeling ish. Sort of. Do you mean like that? 350, no you meme. Catchphrase associated with a story about Loch Ness Monster originally told Ah in animated television series but of South Park. Ah 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 fifty. Begging for three fifty. Ah 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 Yeah, but perhaps not uh, <laughs> no, not that. I'm not the uh, no I don't know about the those South Park things. I haven't actually watched South Park. I don't know, am I missing something big? I might be, who knows? We shall see about that. Because the South Park, I don't, I don't just know. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't just resonate with me, at least. So, that's that. I, uh, there was this one South Park episode, actually, like this, that they actually talked about the China. You know, you know that uh, China, uh, China episode where there's Winnie the Pooh and such. I, I find that very hilarious. That is actually pretty hilarious. Oh man. Super hilarious to be honest. Jimmy Hotajavi. Jimmy! Cool smiling Good face to see with ya. sunglasses, Elias sparkles multiple musical notes. Good to see ya, Whiskey Jimmy, how are you doing? Band in China. I suppose it's that. Yeah. I like that. I like the sort of the they they are very um uh, like many of the series, they don't want to offend anyone. I, I personally like that, you know, even though I'm not personally fond of the humor all the time in South Park sort of series, I do like the fact that they speak openly about subjects instead of being just like, oh, let's not do anything. How are you doing, uh, Jimmy, today? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. There's like the... The Elucan family is gathering over here. Get to say ya, all, all people. Tristan, Wispy, and of course, Jelly, and... 
And how to how to Jimmy Hota Javi. Doing fine. How about you? Tristo Anderson. Steiberg is doing a 60-day free trial of Cubase because of COVID-19. It's called the Stay at Home Bundle. I'm going to try it out. It also comes with their sounds. Cubase, actually, yeah, 60 day trial. Uh, I personally, I've seen many companies do this sort of like, it's COVID-19. Now we can get some, uh, uh, you know, advertisement things on just like... Uh, I, I don't personally like that sort of feel. But, uh, you know, I've, I've seen many companies. There's been many companies mailing... I, I mean, mailing, I mean mailing lists of many companies. You have to lower and, your standards yeah. of lie dirty if you want to suckle on the warm teat of China. <laughs> Jimmy Hotajavi. Sounds excellent. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm doing today very lovely some uh, music over there. Hopefully you enjoy Jimmy. And I'm also planning today to make some game thing. Not on the stream, though, but that's the plan. Steinberg doing 65 trial. Uh, I've seen so many companies trying to do that sort of stuff. Like, you know, it's kind of like a commercial thing. Like, oh, it's a uh, COVID situation. Now we have the trial and... Uh, you can get the program for free. I, I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of feels so... Perhaps I should actually do it. Perhaps I should actually do this sort of uh, marketing tricks myself instead of just by saying that's nasty on my mind. Perhaps I should actually be that sort of person. But it just kind of feels icky. I don't know. I don't know. You have to lower your standards of liberty if you want to su suckle in the warm teeth of... Oh, yeah. I've actually been in China... I don't want to actually go there ever again. Actually, I can't even if, if I wanted to right now, but man, 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 man. Jimmy Hotajavi. Like COVID milk. Tristo Anderson. I mean, it's free, so yeah. might as well. Might as well. It will that give is the best extra argument, sounds to work with. Yeah, but if it's like, does it lock after 60 days? If that the uh, thing, hopefully not. Actually, I want to change a few things. First of all, let's put this in mute. And let's put this first instrument to something different. Tristo Anderson. It might. I have no idea. So if it's a trial, then it locks down. Then I think it's locked down. That's the nasty thing. They are trying to get more customers in that sort of 60 day trial sort of situation. That's usually why they do it and why they do it. Of course, it's not from the goodness of their heart. It's, it's a marketing trick, but but a good one at that. Uh, of course, uh, people that want to make money, you have to go use the situation in your advantage always. Uh, personally, I do think there has to be a balance. You cannot be too much money oriented, I think. I think this could be it. This could be a lovely one, but we have to, of course. Let's make the the delay of Jimmy Hotajavi. I want to buy Cybelius also. I like that people can try their products before buying it. Mm, if I like people that. like it, they can buy. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Uh, things should be brought always. Um, some people said to me like they pirate some stuff, and it's about it's up to you. But I personally, I think people of those companies that make good stuff, they should be supported, because otherwise everything is just going to be Tristo Chinese Anderson. freeware, which is not I know a British composer who uses Cubase. His name is Guy. He is a well-known film composer. A guy! Let's actually check that out if we can. Let's actually do that uh, in the here upper window. Let's put that to... Can you see it? Can you see it? Let's try to see that the guy person. I'm actually interested to see. So we have here. Uh, no, actually, I have to get back to that other window. Paint.net over here. And let's go the mo go the monitor monitor route. So guy. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, and. That was something Hamachi. Tristo uh, Anderson. I will actually quit it. He is on YouTube. Jimmy Hotajavi. 
Yeah Kubase is lovely smiling face I using it and I am very satisfied with it. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I just noticed that, you know, some of the uh, uh, IP address of, uh, Tristo of some kind of VPNs awesome shown on Jimmy the screen. Yeah. But that's not a problem because it was just a random thing. It's not a constant, so why not? Awesome, Jimmy. Uh, Kubase is lovely using it. Oh, you're satisfied. Good. I haven't actually tried that. I could actually go with uh, one of the streams and actually try it out, download it, and see how it works. I haven't used Kubase at all. But now, sorry for just sort of like going... Let's actually, let's actually look at the guy situation. Composer. Is it this person? Hey, I'm Guy, and in this video I'm going to talk about Close to Home by Lyle May. So if you've seen the Hans Zimmer commercial about film scoring, I've got that all the time. This might be the person, who knows, let me subscribe for him to see what sort of works he does. Even if he wouldn't be that person, I find it interesting to have composer channels over there. Tristo Anderson. Yeah, not that Number. person. Jimmy Hotajavi. Guy, I sent you a clip of that composer earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh... <clears throat> I don't remember that. Sorry for if I've forgotten the exact composer. Uh, is it the... Let me actually... Uh, if you can send me to Discord, let's check that uh, afterwards at some point. But now, let's continue the work on the music. I, of course, want to see the composers and such. Let's see... Actually, 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 another thing. Yeah, I haven't shown the composition that we are currently working on for how to how and others. I've been very slow. Sorry for that. Uh, let me try to find something that is very warm, dreamlike. Uh, it's like this. I like this one. We could actually use it. Well, let's use it. Tristo Anderson. His name is Guy Michelmo. I forgot his last name, lol. Jimmy Hotajavi. No problem. Yes, that is the one index finger pointing up. Yeah, no problem. That's the one. Let's actually check him out currently right now. But that was uh, actually that guy composer was seemed like interesting channel. Uh, not the biggest one, but of course the size doesn't matter. I need to see more composer channels. Jilliduck and he seemed to do, do actively some work. So I why use Cubasis on iOS at Tristo Anderson. Ah, this person. All right, Hello, all right. I'm Guy Mitchell Moore. I'm. A okay, okay. I remember you sharing about this. He has done some videos. Think Tristo space, Anderson. Live stream. Man, you got some great pad sounds, Elias. Yeah, I really like the Omnisphere. You have to purchase Omnisphere. Man, man, Omnisphere is the best. Man, you got. Uh, I use Cubases on iOS. iOS. Can you actually use it on that? I don't know. Is the quality as good? Let me know. I've seen some composing programs on iOS, and some of them are good. I use some notation programs on iOS devices, but uh, that's about it. I don't want to use full composing software, because I always want to be in front of a computer, because it has more processing. Otherwise, there's no really uh, sense for it. Yeah, actually, a very good channel. Let me actually subscribe here Jimmy as Duck well. 100. Yeah, let's do that. I'm on iPad iPad, alright, alright. There are some good, actually, Christo composing Anderson. programs for that, but I don't know That's the quality great of them. Jelly. I don't I'll know. use it on Windows, oh yeah. Yeah. I like, really like this pad. But now, we have some composing over here done. Let's make what overall Wispy Whiskers earlier said about the having some sort of gaps over here. Let's put this one off and this one away. Then later on, every time, like this. Whiskey Whiskers. <laughs> if you seek more music channels, look up Ben Zimmerma. He does pretty good remixes. Let's do that. What sort of remixes he does? Let me know. Let me actually put this music on the background while I search that person.
Ah, Banjo Kazooie. Nice. Let's see. Also has a school for music as well. I see. So they so do says, sort of internet uh, education. I really like his link to the past intro. I will check him out uh, later on. Um, we could. Uh, I. I don't know. Are those uh, like do they have sort of copyright some sort of like thing? If I play them on the stream, they are uh, they going to attack me. I don't know. So I'm not going to play anything like that. But I will check him out. Thanks for sharing. Uh, they usually many have these sort of uh, composing schools. Have you been a uh, part of these sort of schools yourself? I, I myself never really went to those. Of course, for some people they are helpful, so I am not against that. I've nothing against that. It's it's very good actually to have uh, uh, experienced people to help you out. Usually it costs uh, quite a lot actually, depending on the composer, of course. Let's make this one longer because otherwise it doesn't have the effect we want it to have. And also, let's make this. This cannot be quiet. Not at all. Not at all. This has to be something Tristo we have to Anderson. do here. I haven't been to online schools. I mainly learn it from YouTube videos. YouTube don't actually have any help. There are actually great music theory videos that will mm. go into depth. Yeah, very true. Very the true. The Puku Taipei. Hey, actually, remember, it was was it you that suggested this synthwave thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're currently making that, as I promised, making some of the synthwave music this time. Hopefully, some of the you enjoy. Jimmy I have very limited uh, knowledge Exciting on music of uh, synthwave. Hey, thanks I very like much. I like that you tried a fret styles forward slash forward slash Tristo Anderson. That is very true indeed. Very true. I think, uh, personally... Uh, future of uh, education might be that you are not part of just one school. You actually go to many places that have Tristo quality Anderson. content that just you. I do write different get. styles, Jimmy. Different styles is a way to do it. Different styles. Otherwise, uh, you just kind of feel the same. How are you doing, Pikutupi, today? Good to see. Jimmy Hota Javi. Happy Smiley Excellent. Wispy Whiskers. It gets kinda messy at the end. Too many tracks. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree on that. I think we need something else rather than the synths to do the stuff in the end. I will be taking these ones off. We could actually have them as a sort of like uh, middle part. Yeah, synth wave. I have to tell you, it's not uh, most familiar thing to me. Hopefully, there's something that you find good in, in this. And as we have had very good suggestions by Wispy Whiskers, let me know if you got of your own that would be very much help but i do think future of education might actually go to that there's like individual places to learn from around online and individuals if they want to learn uh, they just go online do that of course i think traditional education still get has some value especially in the connections you can make i was just discussing with my friend a few days ago how connections are such an important thing what's actually you jimmy that i talked with about that connections like, connections are such an important thing, uh, just going to your future. If you meet a person that is in his, like, let's say, mid-twenties, and uh, he has this future that he's going to be, like, the 
boss of the TV station and then you're friends with him. You actually have made such a jackpot if you are friends with that sort of person. So traditional education in that sort of sense is useful. If you're thinking just Jimmy about Hota the Jarvi. usefulness of it. Interesting thoughts. I it think... was maybe me because have also been talking about Yeah, that. I think it was us you're talking Aiko about. That. Hey, Hi, Elias Aiko. and everyone. I think it's the first time I see you composing Scythe Wave. This effects. is the first time actually, very much so. Hey, say everybody hello to Aiko from France. Uh the this sort of painter. I remember you mentioning about uh, about we talk about the uh, pets at some point. I will be sending the picture of mine at some point. I haven't yet uh, taken that picture, but about that. Now, let's see, can we find the... Jimmy Hotajavi. Hey, Aiko C. This could be it. Uh, we shall see. I Tristo need Anderson. a few. Guy School actually had students who would later compose for movies like Toy Story 2 oh, and more. Oh, really? That is pretty cool. I didn't actually know. Yeah. It is like this is a, a, this is also a way to you know a good teacher can be a good connection as well. Uh, it might be I don't know you know the American Anderson. composing circles are very unknown a to me. I'm from Finland. Echo, oh yeah. Echo. Toy Story has some uh, lovely music, I suppose. The melody. The do, 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 do. Uh, is it is that song Echo that he has C. also composed for? Hello, Jimmy remember. from Sweden. Face throwing a kiss X. But we are in process of making synth wave this Friday, 17th of April. We are already in middle of April. I tell you. Oh, well, that's chaotic, I tell you. We could use that at a later point. But yeah, like I tell you, I tell you very much, uh, it's... Uh, this is kind of an unknown territory for me, so thanks for... Uh, understanding that because thing is I'm not really sure on I've, I've seen some of the synth wave I think it's not the comp most complicated of the music uh, styles but it's of course a first time always it's a Hello, first time Tristo face throwing a kiss yes middle April already X middle April can you imagine life is going crazy Actually, life is always been going Anderson. crazy all the time. My cuz will has some great synth sounds. Great synth sound. Hmm, 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 hmm. We could actually check that compose that out at some point. Just need to be. Jimmy Hotajavi. I didn't know that. Guy is kind of new to me. A friend mm. told him about me for some weeks ago. Forward slash then forward that slash. makes two of us. Very much I haven't heard about him personally before. But of course I'm from the countryside. Uh, my information on things is uh, is most limited uh, in, in its best. <laughs> we try to find something that... Actually, actually, someone suggested us to have a bass instrument. We could actually take that here. Yay! Something very fitting. We could actually test that out. Actually, no, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Let's fix that. I think we could try the aggressive. Tristo bus. Anderson. Guy Michalno is hilarious lol. But he's good at what he does. He even teaches you the grasps of Kubase. That's very excellent. That's very excellent. Uh, there's some very good composers that actually Whiskey do this whiskers. sort of educative content. And Sounds like personal. a fart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, that's do hopefully not how you. Do you enjoy the countryside? Hmm? Do you travel in nature? Oh Blossom. man, all the day. Yesterday was very beautiful day. A uh, very windy but a beautiful sunny day. I just went with my dog all around the just the place, and man, it's beautiful out here. I tell you, 
It's it's like we have still snow on the ground, so it has some you know it it's kind of beautiful at the same time as it's uh, cold and warm. We need some kind of arpeggio over here, but I don't know what yet. That didn't, that didn't sound good at all. Yeah, I'm in a kind of a position that I don't really know where to go next. But we shall see, we shall see. So yeah, like, I like this feel of like, it's like a Finnish Riviera in a sense. Like, it's a very warm weather compared to the situation. And there's still snow in the ground. It's, it's this sort of like, a, it is the sort of weird mix. Because usually when there's snow, usually then it is... Uh, Quite cool. Tristo Anderson. Snowy scenery makes for great music. Indeed so, indeed so. And it gives you inspiration. You have to have nature in order to get inspired. Of course, city can inspire, but in a different way. I don't know. How. This part should be more impressive, I think. It should be... I don't know how to do this part. Like, we have the build-up. Build-up is good, but then what else? So we, I think we need the synths, huh, somehow. Aiko C. You're right, I also love walking through nature. Two years ago, it stood in South France. It lasted four days only, but I was so excited, smiling face with heart-shaped eyes. It snowed there. Oh, nice. Did you get a lot of, like, snow? The whole whole ground is a white sort of fashion? Let me know, let me know. So actually, yeah, this is, I I, I kind of like it, but it's it's not the warmest of things. I think I might have done some misadvertisement over here. Tristo Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Snow is okay. I don't really like the cold though. I suppose. I suppose, but I I think the coldness is a kind of a good kind of thing because otherwise, like we we would have these sort of very nasty animals that usually reside in places where which have more warmth. Usually more nasty animals live in more warmer and nicer places, like Australia, goddamn, there's so many nasty creatures over there. Aiko we C. don't have that much. The first day, the snow was very weak. The day after, it was white everywhere. It was really beautiful and walking through the snow, oh my god, black heart. I think that could work. I think that could work. I think that could work, ladies and gentlemen. Tristo Anderson. Australia has the most of dangerous things, lol. Australia is the most dangerous place on earth. Like, if you try to just reek the, uh, like the, uh, with, with, is, is, is it the right word? But like, if there's like, like a lot of leaves on the ground, you cannot just like, hey, let me pick them up. Tristan because there can be something deadly Sounds under great there. so far. Hey, great, thank you very much. I think there's Wispy something good whiskers. with this. Snakes. There are only two species of snakes in Finland and only one of them is venomous. Yeah, and usually they are not those like nasty creatures that they just like, I want to... Uh, I want to bite a human being. Like usually, they are not like that. They usually try to flee. Only if they are in very grave danger on their own mind, they will attack. Usually, they don't want to do that. Uh, so, not dangerous at all. Not at all. I had to kill some of these uh, because you know they tried to. Uh, like many many cases, especially here in the countryside, they try to come to a garden, especially on hot weather. Because we, of course, we try to water the plants, so they try to uh, try to find the water, and they try to come to near us. So, like, of course, you have to take care of them, or just uh, like uh, try to get them off. But unfortunately, sometimes they come t towards you, so like you have to take them out. Unfortunately, that is. 
But the yeah, snakes and human beings never have been a very good pair. Of course, there are some pet snakes, but uh, personally, not a huge fan of those. song should begin. I think that is the point we should really start on this. So I think we got something here, hopefully something you enjoy. Thanks to anyone who has been on here, like sir, we got the very good suggestions from our friend uh, uh, Wispy Whiskers and hopefully it's something that, uh, hopefully this is uh, Something that you enjoy. Tristan I think this Anderson. is actually pretty lovely. We need to start there doing this There is a this spider in Australia that will eat your kidney. Forgot the name of it though. Eat they your kidney! Numb your skin and eat your flesh, then take out your kidney to take back to its babies. God damn spiders! Hate those goddamn spiders. Eat your kidney! God damn, that's like from a horror film. That's worse than it. That's worse than that. God damn. And give it to its babies. God damn, the spiders are such a nasty creature. God damn. There's some, there's some very big spiders in, ugh, yeah, like in, in Mexico. Sweat. There's this, this spider in Mexico that, that, can, that can eat cows. Jimmy even. Hotajavi. Yeah, scary. Very scary, god damn. Kidney spiders. Yeah, that's what we needed in the nature. That is creepy, Tristo. Mm, nasty. Get, uh, do they Anderson. attack people often? I know I seen a video about it before. <sighs> Whispy whispers. I'm going to eat you and it's going to make me very happy. Jordan Peterson. And then we start to uh, make some beautiful parts over here. The thing is, Jordan Peterson, I think that's not what he has said. I believe I might be wrong. I've listened to Jordan uh, sometimes, and I think that's not the Tristo direct Anderson. quote of him. Lol, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Peterson. Actually, he's going through some rough times. I've heard. Like, I'm not uh, like uh, actively following this person, but I heard that he's had some uh, medication issues. He almost lost his mind with some of the medicine that he was taking. Or Jimmy like Hotajavi. That was new one here. Yeah, that was a new one. He must have had uh, some rough times. Like the thing is, I personally do not want to ever eat any medication that alters my mind. I think mind Jimmy has to be able to, you know, you have to be able yeah, to control your own also. mind on that yourself. Is sad. Otherwise, you know, it's going to just damage yourself. And I've, and unfortunately, that is what happened with him. Very sad thing. And gladly he's recovering. Hopefully, I've, I've heard some good news some time ago. Uh, hopefully, he's recovering. Tristo Anderson. Is Jordan sick? He used some kind of uh, me medication for... Um, he was like... Uh, so, some kind of uh, sadness for him or something. Like some kind of a mental... Uh, um, a kind of pill or something. I don't know. I don't know what the term is, but Jimmy like, I, I think that was it. Look on his YouTube and see the latest updates. Yeah, I think video. I think that is a good way to go. So you know, check that out if you want to learn more about him. But yeah, there's some nasty things happening, unfortunately. Nasty things. So let's change the feel of right now. <laughs> So let's try that, of course. Uh, it's not a guarantee, but let's see. Let's use bells. Usually in Soundwave you don't use bells at all. At all, actually. I don't know, does this work? But this is my idea, at least. Let me know what are your thoughts on the song currently. We have a around one Tristo minute of music Anderson. made, which is lovely. Which I'll is check lovely. it out soon. 
yeah, I, I recommend to check it out. It's very nasty thing. I, I, I really say, like, depending on the situation, of course, I don't know everything. Uh, but I, I very much strongly advise you, if you have whiskey, anything, whiskey. any medication... So far, this reminds that... me of Blade Runner. Oh. The good one, that is. <laughs> is the other, the newest one, I haven't actually checked that. Some people say it's bad, some people say it's good. Personally, not really interested on in seeing that. But, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, thing is, if you uh, don't take any medication that alters your brain, if it's not, like, really serious stuff, like... Uh, Brain, it, it, it controls everything that you do. You're me thinking everything. Don't take any of that sort of stuff. If it's like, <sighs> there's, there's gonna be so many problems on that. I, I personally think like, of course, some people say, what are you saying, Elias? People should take the medication. Uh, but like some people, they mightn't actually need it. Like some of the depression, yeah, that's the word, depression. Like. Depression is not the or the problem itself. It's like um you know if you get hurt, the hurt it tells you that uh, something is wrong and you need to fix it. If your head is hurting, you might have hit your head at something, or there might be something inside of here that is hurt. Like it's not the the hurtness and it's the depression is not the problem. It's always a symptom. It's not the cause. The cause has to be. Uh, fixed before the medication is only just a temporary solution always mm. And I've seen some, some people take them like candy and I was like, I was like oh no So yeah candy is not the way to go forward on this sort of stuff. It's very serious Always have to be serious with serious stuff. the Piku Taipei Acus of Alistair what is that? Aika syvällistä. Ah, I just the chat thing just said it differently. I actually have this uh, friend that I knew Whiskey that had whiskers. mental problems. Todelakai. And it's so sad. It's sad. Todelakin. Aika syvällistä. Oh, deep. That is what it means in Finnish. Very deep. Syvällistä. I just love Finnish language. Finnish language is the best. But yeah, I had this friend who was, who clearly had been hit when in his family when he was younger. Uh, like he actually, she actually told about that. That's that's very sad thing. That should never happen. And she was sometimes very mental and sometimes very clear with his head. And always when he was clear with his head, he you said he had medication. And in those cases, it might help. But like, it's still very sad, sad business. Sad business. to continue from this part and I don't really know what will happen afterwards if you have any suggestions let Tristan me know Anderson. some people have rough lives yeah also this hey, piece is turning out well I think it somewhat but it's not the warmness that I thought it could be I think it's more like the, what you said sort of like uh, this sort of futuristic I don't know I don't know it just kind of feels right to do that sort of stuff there are some people, man, man, man. Life is like a card, card game, and I have so I had some very good cards. I tell you, if I would have had any sort of a different past, I, I tell you, it would be much rougher, or much worse. Like thing is, I'm very lucky in this sort of situation. Very lucky indeed, man. Some people have rough time. I tell you. Hopefully, you and is it all going well for you. And hopefully we never are going to uh, encounter uh, ourselves a problem that we have to use some medications like that. It's not healthy whatsoever. It's not healthy at all. But yeah, 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 yeah. What we could actually do is...
something like this. Something like this we could do. We could do some like a movement. Wispy whiskers. Who knows? Who knows? The middle part I really like. I would have built on that if it was me. Still need to be done or do some work over here. It's not completely in focus, I tell you, I tell you. But hey, I'm thank, glad you like the middle part. It's, uh, it's. I'm, I'm still kind of. I have this feel. I've whole whole song. I've been doing this. I have this feel. What am I even doing? This sort of feeling. I don't actually know the location to go. Actually, to be honest, but we're going to still do things nonetheless. Like I've always done the other songs that are like styles that are such a. I know them, I know how to do them, and if this is something like, what am I doing, my brain is saying to me all the time, hopefully, hopefully that is not showing, but still, that is what I feel, oh man, but, after, you know, I, I, you know, that was kind of a Aco dark C. sort of uh, to do topic, do you like electronic talked. music, Elias, electronic music, I like all styles, they can have some good stuff in them, of course I prefer to listen some of the other, some from over others, but I think every style has some good stuff, every style can, ha can have them good, can have the good stuff in there, I believe that to be the case, because electronic music, uh, I've, I've talked with some of the friends, he says like electronic music, it's not the, there's, there's not the human touch, but I believe like sometimes song songs don't need the human touch necessarily, there can be just uh, the atmospheres, there can be some different difference in, in, in styles and such. Yeah, the afterwards part, I have no idea what we're going to be doing, but yeah, electronic stuff, good stuff. How about you, others on the chat and Aiko, do you like some electronic music, do you listen it on your free time? Wispy Whiskers. Awesome stuff. Could it be more awesome? Restream.io. Trophy congratulations. You've received 100 messages today in the Restream chat. I like that. I like that. Ah, yeah, the Restream thing, yeah. That sometimes, you know, 100 chat, of course. I don't I, I don't really care about the numbers. That's just an automatic thing. I cannot actually put that off for some reason. I tried. But numbers do not really matter to me. Instead, people themselves. As I mentioned yesterday, I talked with this person that sings anime music with an, an Indian person. And he says, Tristo like, Anderson. in his description, the most otaku Indian music person. music is all. mainly about the melodies. Every bluegrass music I heard always has strong melodies. Bluegrass, oh man. I, I like to listen to some blue, bluegrass. It, and you can listen to different music for different reasons, but especially when it comes to, let's say, movie soundtracks or games, the of course, drawn films and this sort of they need some way. Sia Muka. Ekavan Synth Bass Sia A little Synth Bass. I think we need that. We can actually add that. Let's do it. Let's do some synth bass in the later sections and other movements as well. We have quite deep many instruments. Electronic already. is not really new cup of tea. Again, I think electronic is the most varied music genre. Yeah, there can be I so am quite different selective pieces when it comes to electro music. Yeah, same here. I don't listen everything. I don't listen the let's say like synth wave. I don't listen every synth wave song or something like that. I think that's not the way to go. But hey, Pikachu says some synth bass. Let's try to find the instrument like that. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Ah, it's, 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 it's very close to something very nice. Electronic music is actually like fun it. to mess with. Ah, I mess yeah. with it from time to time. It's fun to do. Uh, some easy pieces uh, are they fun to listen to? Sometimes it depends on the context. I think if there's a futuristic film, of course it needs that. It needs the electronic feel on it, of course. I like that sort of like it goes like. But I 
cannot use it on this one. But I like that. That was a very fun, fun bouncing stuff. Yeah. Let's try to find something else though. Well, that sounds terrifying. Like that spider that your Tristan sent me. I'm going to be saying nightmares on that. God damn. Eating your kidneys away. And even in India, there's like brain worms. God damn. Why is this Tristan world so Anderson. nasty? With all these Sounds worms. Sounds like a bouncing ball, lol. Mm. Uh, one of the things, uh, I don't know, like, what sort of air. Like, if there's, like, a balance in the nature. What does balance give those sort of kidney-eating spiders? Like, please tell me. Like, what is this? What is the... What is the spot that they are needed to be at? I don't know. But of course, there are humans that whiskey, actually do whiskers. worse things. Effing worms. Uh. Tristo Anderson. That spider is 12 inches big, by the way. Please! Please don't tell me more! God damn. God damn. God damn. God don't... Well, 12 inches. I actually cannot really... Like, I use meters and centimeters. So let me see how long is... Uh, I think inches is actually smaller, if I remember. Inches. Um, let me just Google Google that. Inches in meters. Meter. Yeah, that's actually uh, that's actually very small. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, oh, is it? I don't know. Let me just see. Centimeter. Aco well, it's still quite a large. Agree with you, Tristan. Even if personally, I'm uh, more of a rock listener. Rock and I would roll. not listen to tectoic music. But I would listen to ambient electro music, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ambient is a good for sometimes to relax. This has this sort of futuristic feel on it. Yeah. Whiskey whiskers. There's a crustacea that can cut your finger off. Tristo Anderson. It's okay that spider is more in tropic areas in Australia, I think. Thing is, my friend, I don't really like the sort of the big spiders and such. Tristan in Anderson. Finland, we have just these small I love ones rock that music don't and do metal. nothing. Do nothing. I started and that's out as a metalhead, lol. Metalhead? Ooh. That sounds some, something like uh, from the Jack and Dexter. But yeah. Ah, metalhead. Some metal music. I think Jimmy as well, is some. Uh, he has some metal interests. Like, I, I've seen some of the uh, things that Jimmy has shared, some metal songs, and I tell you, there's some interesting ones down there. And it's, I have this friend who is like a classical and a metal person, he's like, he, he does like opera and at the same time he likes heavy metal. And I like the combination the of that. I don't even like small spiders persevering yeah, face. Yeah, small spiders are nasty Whiskey as well. Whiskers. But at least they don't do much. There are ants that explode with acid. Yeah, there's all these kind of creatures. I remember when I went, went to France, or actually my big brother, he has big nightmares of that even. Like, he went to sleep in a old house when we, of, when we stayed in there. And he was sleeping and this spider tried to get inside of her... Uh, he's like uh, Tristo Anderson. His mouth or something. I would play tons of metal. Why are they going and there? Songs There's back like in my young teen God years long. God damn spiders. He was trying to like uh, lay Classical eggs there or something. Classical and metal music can form the best combination. White smiling face. Yeah, I tell you, it can do some good stuff. It can do some good stuff. And let's do the. Do -do 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 some middle parts over here but yeah there's some goddamn nasty animals down there even some very nasty worms like goddamn 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 I don't really understand uh, their position in the world but I suppose uh, you Anderson. need brain eating worms in this classical world. metal oh yeah a classical metal oh yeah like and and he is she's very big on uh, Organs. This friend who has like metal and classical background. Oh, organs. They make a great feel, I tell you. I think we're going to be using this later on. I think we could use it. Not at this point yet. 
We shall see. We shall see. Tristo Anderson. Organs are awesome. Organs. George organs. Man, 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 man. I would actually want to buy, buy those. Like, there are some clothes in churches in places that have low population. Tristo Anderson. So they actually are very cheap in I still in want a giant pipe organ for my <gasps> Pipe self organ! AKC. That is the way to go. Nasty animals, yes. We begin to have pine processiori larvae here. Goddamn larvae! Go away! Go back to your countries where you came from! And and in Finland, there are some nasty insects coming here as well. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of weird that they're usually coming from Russia. Yeah, they're usually coming from the east. Goddamn hair he lies at. Goddamn hair. I don't know their other names. Like Whiskey they just in, in 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 autumn time That's they go to your head to and try to lay spiders eggs. And worms away from our organs. Yeah, goddamn spiders. Spiders. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I have nothing against really taking those out if they try to come near me. I tell you, goddamn spiders. But there be there are some big spiders. They just, spiders are such a weird creatures, like they eat even each other sometimes. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tristo Anderson. No. Wispy Whiskers. Hornets. Or wasps. Aco C. They can be dangerous. Yeah, wasps. So we kill them with boiling water. Let me just do a very cheap trick to make sure that we got some music done. A cheap trick to do is change the key signature for a song, part of that. So let's do that. Let me be a lazy bastard. Here we go. Good job, it is. Uh, it became dangerous for cats, so we kill them with boiling water. Oh, which ones? The wasps? Nah, wasps are very nasty. But like, they can, of course... There, there are some very big wasps coming from Russia. Very, very, very nasty ones. Very nasty. And I don't like the, how it's going right now, but I have to fix it somehow. And let's let's do something with it. Aco C. Mm. No, the larvae. We kill the levy with boiling water. Let's add some melody instrument on there. <laughs> Whiskey Whiskers. The next part could use a melody. Yeah, actually, that was a coincidence. We're actually doing something like that. Yeah. The Puku Taipei. That sounds nice. Yeah, we're getting somewhere, but it's it's not yet the, what I wish it to be. But we are developing. Thanks for being here and watching its process. I'm giving some good suggestions, as Whispy Whiskers have been giving. Also, Pico Tupi as well. And I tell you, I tell you this. Yesterday, I watched this documentary on Russian Revolution. The larvae are actually really good feed for birds. They can, they can actually be. They can. But, you know, there's some nasty larvae, like... Uh, this ilimato. I don't know what, what what's the word for ilimato in other languages. I mean, actually, ah, uh, sort of like a it, it suck like sucks out of your blood and such. Ilimato. God damn nasty. Uh, I remember uh, this one f experience I had in younger days. I was like, hey, I'm I'm trying to look at this little river outside of my home, and I, and I went, and then I uh like there's this uh like a Whispy plant, and I a leech. yeah leech leech. There's this plant, I just pull it out of the water, and the roots are full of these leeches, like... And I'm, and I'm, I'm very young, and I'm like... Aah! And then I'm putting it down back. Goddamn leeches. So yeah, like... Uh, not the most pleasant creatures, really. Really, yeah. 
Not at all. Cosi, you creepy and horrible. That story astonished face. Very, very much. Actually, one thing I want to change in here. I think I'm going to be like. Just making this continue like this, and then I would be like making this continue in down section, like uh, here. Yeah, very nasty story, and I remember it all my life because goddamn it looks, they look so goddamn, goddamn like just going around like that. Ugh, goddamn leeches. <laughs> some time on this so idea is okay okay so we have this uh, middle part over here oh I, I like the, this whole thing otherwise but there, there's this still some work we need to open it up sort of fashion I will put these ones down here I kind of like the movement even right now we are just going to put it down there so it has this sort of weird feel for it Echo C. The music sounds nice, white smile. Hey, I'm happy to hear it. Like, think that. Tristan Anderson. Dude, this sounds amazingly dope, man. Yeah, I still need some work, though. Work, though. Work, work, work. Hard work. Yeah. But we shall work on that, see where it takes us. But hey, thanks, you, thanks for thinking that. We still, uh, I would like to uh, repeat the beginning part with some of the additional elements added in. But yeah, it, it, it sounds nice. It sounds nice so far. We could make it like 1 minute and 30 seconds. As uh, I planned. I, 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 I yesterday watched this documentary on Russian Revolution and Stalin. I very much recommend you to really figure more information about that period because it was in very interesting to see this sort of power struggle going there. I know I'm, it's just like a random jump on me to talk about uh, Russian Revolution, but I personally like find it very fascinating, this sort of how that could actually take place and hopefully uh, never again sort of fashion. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we could actually take this out of the picture. We could put this one in the middle section and see how it plays out. I don't really, I'm not really happy on how this is going. I think we should need like like something like this Jimmy Hota Javi exciting hey. wispy whiskers here's a story my childhood home had a horse ant infestation Every summer during their breeding season, the front door was swarming with the buggers. Goddamn buggers! What is actually bugger? Let me actually see. Bugger. Bugger is a milled sweat word. No, no, no. Animal. Ugh! No, is that an animal? No, no, no. Animal. Bugger! I don't actually know what is that. Is it this one? Buggers! Goddamn buggers! 
If that, uh, I could imagine those sort of creatures. Not very lovely, but no, no, not at all. God damn. That you always try to find a way to to in infestation. Like always, that's that's what the insects do. That's their strategy, infestation. Some of them, of course. But you know, some of them are beautiful, like butterflies and such. But of course, uh, not uh, even th some of those are blood-sucking animals. That's what they are. <laughs> enjoy what we're doing afterwards. Let's see how it works. There's too much stuff. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. I want the melody to be part of this, but I think I need to be deleting some stuff over here from. So this is good. So, I, so, so like we have like... Wispy whiskers. So this is a melody. It's a minor swear. I was referring to the huge ass insects crawling all over the doorstep. Ah, yeah, bugger, minor swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I I know that. I thought that was some kind of animal species as well. Very nasty. Do. 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 Like that. And then we have. Something like that. We we shall see. Does that work? Goddamn animals! Do we have any like? Uh, do, do, are there actually good insects that are out there? That some 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 insects that are actually pleasant. I don't. don't the, I like ants in a sense. Like of course they are also a swarming species, but I like how they they actually have architecture sort of and uh, and they do actually farm with these. Uh, like they actually have these sort of like uh, all the animals that you know get sugar for them from the lands and such and, and such and such and such. So like they there's actually very ants are very fascinating. Also bees. Bees are very fascinating creatures as well. But let's see do like this and uh, we could use this one as well here. Do, do. Yeah, let's see how this works. So I have still no idea how to continue on this part. We shall see, we shall try it out. So... Wispy whiskers. Something like this. Ladybugs are nice. Ladybugs they are nice. Yeah, they're actually very lovely. Are very pleasant, I suppose. But of course, all the ants eat those as well. Like, we have so many, like, these sort of ant cocoons over here. Like, they eat so much of the insects down below. It's very barren sometimes. Like, there, there are these lots of big colonies over here. Such a big places. <laughs> I 
think that we we could do that. Uh, let, let's just listen this without anything else and see how does it work. Mm -hmm. Epic! Oh yeah! Hopefully something like that. I think there's some kind of feel. I think I need to change it from warm synthwave. I've, I was having an idea that we could do that, but not at this point at least. actually done this sort of my music before. Very interesting. But hi, how's uh, anyone's day? Uh, I think some people mentioned that they're going to be working on some music today. Are you going to perhaps working on some uh, synth wave yourself? Let me know. I got some ideas on, uh, on our new collaborations. In Elokas, in our group, we have this Tristel sort of uh, uh, emoji Epic challenge. And dope, yeah. Dope! Oh yeah! But I want to bring more projects on the community that we are doing. Basically, there are writers, composers and such, and others part of it. And uh, especially in the future, I would like to make Fuzz projects for composers. Fasmati Day! What is that? What is that? Fasmati Day. Sounds an interesting word, at least. Fasmati Day. A family of sticks insects belongs to a super family of Anarelo Tadae Suporodilelae. Or something like that. Ooh, let me show pictures of that. God damn. AKC. God damn. Electronically ascending. Look at this creature. It's a very, like, look at that. That's just like, like, it's a stick. That's so cool, though. Like, that's, that's so cool thing. Like, look at that. Look at that being. Animals are clever, god damn. Nature is clever. Looks like a stick, god damn. Jimmy Hotajabi. Looks weird. It looks interesting, like imagine that thinking process Whispy of whiskers. it making it so that it's commonly looks... known as stick insect. Stick insects and and imagine how clever. Like there's so many sticks around, you can easily just camouflage yourself. And then let's like And then deep, and then very deep, and then Jimmy Hotajavi. Yes, wispy whiskers. There's a species of grasshoppers that look like leaves. Oh, Tristan man. Anderson. So clever. Or if you're picking up sticks. You might grab the stick insect instead. Yeah, yeah, I think that's not what they're trying to do. I think it's just like a camouflage for the predators because there's so many creatures that eat, eat, eat insects. I tell you, if you would like to choose what animal species you are outside of a human, you would not like to be an insect. Insect being insect Those is not the best like thing. Leaves. There's so do many things that eat mantis. insects. Yeah, I look like the uh, praying mantis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they look like leaves, but I wouldn't like to be an insect in any way of shape or form because there are so many of creatures eat them, and there's there's these even mushrooms that are that use insects as a growing platform. Like I've seen this very alien documentary of like the insect and and this sort of mushroom starts growing from its head, and it's like imagine that being for humans that would be like a nightmarish situation oh man glad that's not the case
wispy whiskers. Not sure about the scientific classification, I suppose it is a grasshopper. And then we just need some very long paws. Very long paws. Long paws. Grasshoppers are, I think, very little. Praying they are. mantis are quite large, like leaves. Yeah, very much try to mimic that sort of fashion. That's what they try. That's what they try, and actually do it very nicely. If you would like to be an animal outside of human, what animal would you be? Personally, a bird would be a pretty lovely, but also they have nasty worms and sea creatures that try to get inside of them, and that's not good. Mm. But the flying part would be cool, at least for a while. And then some random hunter shoots you in the forest, and that's like, yay! Wispy whiskers. Life over. Game over. I know over. that fungus. It's called cordyceps. God damn! I don't even want to see pictures of that anymore. It's, it's such a nightmarish creature. Such a nightmare creature, I tell you. Did actually do something? Hey, I wouldn't mind being a cat grinning face with smiling eyes. <laughs> ah, cat, cat. They're actually pretty clever creatures, yeah. Hunter sort of fashion. Depends on, of course, where that cat would be. Personally, I would like. I like dogs, but would I like to be a dog? I don't really think so. Tristo Anderson. Some big wild animal Kitty. would be cool. L O L. L O L. Uh, but yeah, I think you know, like actually, cats are very fearsome in, in a sense. Like they are actually like imagine you being a bird in a normal city. The bear, the the cats there are the high, almost the highest predator. Of course, humans are above them in in a sense, like in food circles, but. But cats are dangerous for birds. They eat all of them if they can, and even play with them. Such a terrifying sort of, sort of way they have, of course. And I'm, I'm thinking. I sometimes think like I have a dog. If some, if one day I would wake up being like this long, this uh, few a centimeters cozy. long. Yes, like, would that I would dog be cute, eat me? Smart and a great hunter, white smiling face. But I would say that uh, I would Whiskey say. Whiskers. Owls are cool. Be an owl. They can fly without making Owls a sound. Owls actually cool. That's very lovely. That's very lovely. But I would imagine, like one day, if I would like born in like this high, would my dog pet eat me? I'm thinking about if if I would have a cat and I would be like this long. I think the cat would actually eat me. I've seen some of the cases in America that their owner have died in the house and the cat eats their owner or something like that. Dog wouldn't do that, and that's what I like about the dog. But of course, uh, it depends on the cat, perhaps. But cat uh, has uh, Whiskey, less whiskers. problem on that. I would have to get rid of my mustache. Though. Oh no, not the mustache! Christo Anderson, an owl with a moustache lol. Moustache, owl, that's actually, oh, let me see, owl with a moustache, I want to see that. Owl. Wispy whiskers, moustache. no, wait, what would a feather moustache look like? We have to wait and see. <gasps> we a found cat would it! Eat you immediately, I don't really know about dogs, I don't think we they go. would eat you easily like cats. This is what would you look like? A maul... Oh, that's actually very cartoonish. Owl moustache. Is there anything else? That's the only thing we found. And for some reason, there's picture of Chevabaka over here. I don't know why, but uh, Chevabaka is over here saying hello. I don't know. A cat would eat you immediately. I don't know about dogs. Dogs are think... I think they would not necessarily. Of course, they have hunger as well. They... They could, but uh, there have been cases that dogs haven't eat them, eaten their masters. Uh, I've, I've, I've seen that. Chevabaka. 
Jimmy Hoti Jarvi. That was new for me. I do like both cats and dogs. Tristo Anderson. Styles is in the real life. change the instrument to bells with this melody yeah star wars every way god damn that's what they doing god damn star wars but i actually i'm not very fond of current star wars i don't know about you but like it's uh it's like the kingdom hearts effect it's this sort of thing that when original creators go away from a series it doesn't it's it's like it's like you would see Jimmy me hated Javi. Someone play this as me? This sounds futuristic. Hey, I'm glad you think so. It would be like uh, someone playing as your, like, let's say, your dead uncle has risen up, but then someone else would possess him. I think it's like the current Star Wars right now. It's like Disney possessing of, uh, possessing, uh, like a carcass of Star Wars. It doesn't really feel like Star Wars, and that's why I've lost quite a lot of interest on that series, to be honest. Not very fascinating, to be Tristo sure. Tristo Anderson. I keep hearing bad things about the new Star Wars movie. Have you watched it though? I've watched it and not the biggest fan. And not in a long shot, to be honest. Tristo Anderson. I kind of figured it would turn out bad. Wispy Whiskers. Disney is a necromancer. Disney the word. Like, it actually is. That is true because, like, ha in, in recent years, like it has done some original things, but but the most things it does, it's just these the remakes. Typing. When remakes. I hear our with moustache, I think Zelda loot. Ah, that is very true. That is, that is very Zelda-ish, but I want to see someone paint an owl with a moustache. These very, very high fidelity pictures, like, hmm. Sort of like Hercule Poirot moustache. That would be a very certain thing that we need. Tristo Anderson. I haven't watched it. Not sure if I will. Uh, Maybe. I recommend. I can recommend Whispy not. Whiskers. To it is not that fun. At least. You didn't hear wrong. It's a freaking disgrace. It's a disgrace. Yeah, and this is the necromancer. Like it, it's it's the one that goes to a tomb of old IPs and says, "Oh, what shall I pick and breathe life to now?" Wispy whiskers. Uh, the, the current. Aiko, are you up to a challenge? Oh. What challenge? Ooh, I'm interested to see what sort of challenge you have in mind. Hopefully it's nothing to do with Star Wars. Please don't do that sort of challenges. And basically what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, do, do, and then and like... Uh, I'm going to be doing like this. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to be doing this the same in here. Wispy whiskers. Hopefully it's not Star Wars. Owl with a moustache. <gasps> Can you do it, Aiko? Jimmy Hota Jarvi. That would be cool. Cool one. You have to now do it. Of course, it's up, up, up to you. We don't need to. I, I cannot force you. You are uh, full. You do your own paintings. But I would very much like that. I would very much like it. All with a moustache, it would be, it would be something. Thirty-five vampire Barak. Hi. Hey, thirty-five vampire Barak. Turkish people. Good to see. You. Tristo Anderson. Nifu paints sometimes. Oh, he does? Is that the same Nifu that you're going to meet? Uh, but hey, hello there, 35 Vampire Burak from uh, uh, D Life Place. Good to see you. Tristan Anderson. We are doing some composition. So Echo paints as well. Awesome, yeah. Awesome. With Echo, does very excellent paintings, I tell you. Like one of the, I, I really like the, in, in, like his own style, of course. Like I, I personally like realistic style much more than other else. But uh, I can give value to different styles, and one of them is this sort of childlike style that uh, this sort of uh, uh, this sort of like a storybook uh, Tristo Anderson. style. Yeah, the same. Who wants to write music for him? 
what song actually are going to sing? Is it an original song or is it kind of cover? Let me know. <gasps> I just got an idea. I just got an idea. Idea, the best idea. <laughs> Okay, now I got an idea. We have been doing this for two hours. God damn. Thanks for being here for all this time. God damn. Uh, we're going to be still Jimmy finishing Hota this Darby. quite soonish. What do you say, Tristo? Are you going to? Tristo Anderson. It's something he's writing. I like how where this is going now. Okay, let's listen to it whole. Oh man. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now I started to actually like Tristo this. Anderson. Going to what, Jimmy? Something is writing. Hmm. Jimmy Hotajavi. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On his writing, I think he has it. Whiskey whiskers. Well, I think you hit this one out of the park. I think Jimmy this actually Hotajabi. went really nicely. Thanks for As saying theme. that. As a theme. Hmm. Uh, I think Jimmy, uh, I think Tristan is not probably. I, Lol, I probably could. Oh, you could. Not sure how it would turn. Hey, out man! Long. If you do that, that would be the uh, that would be the oh that would be the do best thing ever. Oh man! I want to hear that. Owl with mustache. Oh man, oh man. That sounds like a, a real, like a children book character. Something I would actually be interested to see how that would be. If no one here is going to use that, I'm actually going to use that myself. Yeah. Owl with mustache. Yeah, yeah. I think this actually works really nicely. Thanks for everyone who's been part of this. I think this is the ending of it. Somewhat. I agree, Elias. This piece is awesome. I think this actually went well. I'm, I was uh, until this point, I was like, ah, are we actually going to do this fine? But I, I'm actually very happy. It actually works somewhat. Yeah. All right. Let's listen from the middle part over here. I'm lazy, and I'm going to Jimmy be just copying Hotajabi. the last part. Mm. It would be really interesting to hear forward slash here. I agree with folks here. Nice piece. We have song ready, two minutes. And I know I cheesed the last part by just copying and pasting. And it's not the warmest feel. It feels like some futuristic city. City of future. I think that's something like that. Whiskey whiskers. I can do that. The transition is kind of awkward. <gasps> is it? Well, it's kind of awkward, yeah. Because I'm lazy. But we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see about that. 
let's put this one down. Well, let's try to do something with the translation. You might be right. Something like that. Oh yeah, let's try something like that. That might be good, who knows? Let's try to take this off. Let's do something different. And I know this should not be how it's notated, but at least there's something different in these parts. you guys enjoyed this progress we did for Synthwave. It was uh, suggested us by Pico Tupi, which I very much uh, thank you for um, suggesting this one. Pico Tupi. It was a lovely sort of session to actually work on this sort of music together. Yeah. Wispy Whiskers. The melody part of the continuation is the awkward factor, I think. Try raising it from the start. Uh, erasing it. The melody part of continuation is awkward. Do you mean the... We could do like... I would like to actually just save this, but uh, up to you, of course. Diatonic. Like this. I think we are ready with the song almost, but uh, Wispy Whiskers Whispy says whiskers. something I don't exactly. see. Exactly. <gasps> I get it. Okay, okay, okay. Now I, I now I know how to do this. All right, 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 all right. Now I know how to do this. Let's put it in here. This might be actually interesting. Let's see. Right, right. There's something I want to do over here, which is... There's this synth which I want to access. Sort of like that, sort of like that. And it... let's listen to this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this composing stream, we gotta be Whiskey seeing... Whiskers. You could make it begin later than the rest. Wispy uh, Whiskers, uh, that is, cut off the beginning part. Would you say that? Hmm, might be, might be. Could it work? Hmm, I like the idea though.
Okay. I'm not going to do anything else. It's one minute and fifty Hi. seconds. Hope you have a good stream. Hey, thanks, Roy Becker from D Live. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, good to see a new face to a stream. Unfortunately, we are just kind of quitting here. We had a long discussion on insects. God damn! And then we made a composition. Yeah, we did. We're gonna be le releasing that here. Hopefully, you enjoy. Basically, a composition we used around two hours and fifty. Uh, I mean, uh, twenty minutes to make it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. So. That's about this for today's composing streaming. Thanks for coming here, everyone who has Whispy been giving whiskers. some good advice, especially Wispy that Whiskers was really nice. and the audience suggestion who was by Pico Tube. So thanks for those people. And I'm going to be releasing this today, hopefully. We shall see. Uh, or tomorrow. We shall see about the timeline. But you're going to be able to hear this in YouTube and in all the places. Thanks for watching. And I wish you a good day. Who, uh, uh, Tristan, you're going to be working on the song. I will in be interested to see that in the Discord. And if you others want to also share some of your own work there, I would be interested to hear that on today. But hey, thanks for all the suggestions, Tristo the Anderson. work. And I... Don't forget the kidney-eating spider. We also talked about that mm. long. You have to really bring that up. You have to really bring that up. All right. But hey, thanks for coming. I wish you good afternoon later on today. Who knows what time zones you are in. But hey, good to see you. See you later. And another composing streaming. A new stream every day around this time. So if you want to tomorrow come to another stream. We're going to play some games. You know, see you then. But hey, good to see you. Thanks for watching.